Good evening. Hope you are all doing well. Uh, hope your week is off to a great start. Uh, mine, not so much. The greed monster came to visit me today. <laughs> uh, I had an awesome day going, and then um, I let greed get the best of me and ended up uh, having a red day. So um, without further ado, let's jump into this. Um, I want you to notice my P&L here. I've already taken some trades last night and very, very early this morning. I'm up uh, 269 across the board in all four of my, um, well, I have, I have seven funded accounts now, about to be 10, but I've already traded the, the, the brand new three. I've already done with the three. I've put them to the side. I am working on my existing four that I have a decent amount of profit in. Um, and it's the same narrative. Uh, I, I short the pop-ups and uh, reap the benefits until I don't. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a day. Um, again, I have edited this down to just the, the trades. There's no in-between um, no in time wasting in the trades. Um, just following the spy today until it got away from me. I guess I lost track of where we were at on the on the chessboard, and all my little pawns got captured. <laughs> yeah, um, harnessing your emotions while while you're on a roll uh, is hard to do. It is really really hard to get up and walk away from the table when there's still food on the table. That is a hard thing for me to do. Maybe it's not for you guys. It certainly is for me because when I am on a roll and it, I am sitting here popping, like if you notice the P&L sitting here popping off on all of these trades, it's just hard to get up and walk away from. Not that I'm some guru and not that I'm making millions, but when you're making money and decent money, um, it's hard to get up and walk away from that. Even though I was well... Mm. It's sitting here watching, watching back. I was well within the uh, the profit target. Hey, that that trade right there. I actually missed this trade. That was a huge drop in literally ten seconds off of this point right here, and I I actually missed missed that one. See, there's a rising rising wedge up, and then it just dumps down. Uh, that would have been a nice that would have been a nice amount of profit on that on that particular trade right there. Same same deal though with this. That is a rising wedge up. It reaches the top and you short it on the way back down. I have made a crap ton of money on that pattern alone in the last what four weeks now? Three weeks now? Uh until I don't. <laughs> uh I guess maybe I need to stop, start using a stop loss. I feel like every time I use a stop loss, it gets popped instantly. And that's really, really frustrating to me. But psychologically, there are there are two trades that you will see where it's like, dude, what are you what are you doing, bro? Why why? Why are you still in this trade? And um that's a very, very good question. I don't know why I didn't let go of it sooner. All the signs were there twice that, hey, dude, this is a full reversal. You should let go of this. And I just didn't. Uh, I think it goes back to, again, to that psychological nature of me not wanting to give back the profits. And psychologically to me, it's if I hang on to it, then I'm not giving it back because it'll it'll come back to me. Right. Um, and there's so many times the market will will run you out of a trade only to turn around and run right back to where you were. And that is incredibly frustrating, very frustrating. Because it's just like, dude, if I would have just held it, I'd be good. Well, sometimes just holding it freaking scorches your hands raw. <laughs> oh, it's an awful feeling when you, um, it's an awful feeling when you, A, get it wrong, right? A, get it wrong, and then B, 
hang on to it long enough to where you're just beaten senseless by the time you finally end up letting go of it. Uh, actually, actually, let's fast forward here. This might actually be, the, this is that trade, I think. So I'm already down $145 on this. And right there is where I should let go of it. It's already, it's already through, this trade is already through all of the resistance. And then it knocked out this resistance, then it knocked out this resistance, and now it's going. And now I'm what, 240 in the hole on this one? And oh no, not me, I'm stubborn. <laughs> You gotta convince me. I gotta let go of it. Yeah, that's terrible. Terrible. I think it pops up one more time before I'm like, oh, okay, I've had enough. Mercy, mercy, mercy! I kill <laughs> you. Win, you win. Uh. Yeah, and rightfully so. I should have gone out freaking two minutes ago before that. Ah, it's frustrating. And you see what that did to my P&L too, right? So I was up. Uh, I think when that one happened, I was up four, 480 on each account. And the reason why I was hanging on to it and trying so hard, I was trying to make it to that magic number of 2K across the board. 500 in four accounts, $2,000. There's no reason for me to do that. I should have been happy with that. I should have taken, I, I could have waited. I could have made it back later, but no, I was in the zone. I had to, I had to get it. <laughs> well, I got it all right. And I'm going to go to this last trade because this last trade is the synopsis of my day. Right? This, this trade right here. It almost hits my profit target, and then it doesn't, and then it goes to the freaking moon. And this is this is sped up eight times because now I'm mad, now I'm angry, <laughs> and now I'm not I'm not letting go of this one. Uh, so sorry if you're motion sick because of the screen jumping back and forth, but I think it's like eight and a half times that it's sped up. And I, I am, I am, there is smoke rolling out of my ears at this point. I am so mad because this is two trades now that have got the best of me that I didn't concede to. I didn't say, oh, you know what? I got it wrong. I let it go. And the lesson for me in this is if I let it go, I am wildly profitable in my trades. When I don't let it go, when I sit here and hang on to it, it's like tying an anchor around my neck and just kicking me in the water. I sink like a stone. Um, so frustrating. So frustrating even just sitting here watching back and be like, dude, you had more than ample opportunity to get out of it. Profit on the trade. It just didn't hit my target. And I'm like, no, you're, you're going to hit the target. <laughs> it didn't hit the target. It did not. Oh, spoiler alert, it actually does, but not for like another 40 minutes and running me $600 in drawdown at one point, I think. It was, this was insane. Um, yeah, so here, here is the other, the other part of having a losing day for me, right? So it wasn't some terrible loss today. It was, um, I mean... Total dollar amount was it was like sixteen hundred bucks. That that hurts. But like grand scheme of things, it's only six. Well, I'll show you as soon as this one's done. So I haven't moved the target. Um, I'm just mad because it didn't go there originally, and I get to experience all that pain over again because I didn't let go of it in the first place. Right. And this should be a lesson. If if you're sitting here laughing, you should be, because uh, it's funny. Uh, 
if you're sitting here someone new this is how not <laughs> i repeat how not to do it <laughs> this is not it and then finally it dumps down and flips me out okay uh so let me open up this spreadsheet i apologize i thought i already had it opened 10 30 total so what did we end up with on the day we ended up uh, negative 694 on one account and the bottom number is negative 641. So roughly 700 bucks negative on those four accounts. Positive side, I was positive 316 on the brand new ones. You know why? Because I hit my goal and then I stopped trading them. <laughs> ah, it's frustrating. But so here's psychologically what it will do to me. Like right now, the market has been open for nine minutes. It's 5 p.m. Central Time, 5.09 Central Time, and I immediately want to go get these numbers back. That is a bad way to go. That is, a, that, is not the way, that is not the mentality that I need to go into the market and be successful in it. It's just not. I have, I have all week to make this back. There, there is absolutely zero reason for me to go into the market tonight tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, and feel like I have to go get this back. But yet, right here, right here, that is exactly how I feel right now. And that is a recipe for disaster. And, and I proved this. If you watched, um, uh, is it the payout video or the one right after that where I imploded on those three accounts and I ended up losing, losing them? It's exactly why I had a red day and I immediately wanted to wipe it out and go make it right. And uh, that doesn't work for me. I will do the stupidest of things. I will load up on contracts. I will over trade my cans off and it will end up being a worse red day tomorrow than what it is today. So realistically, I should be back to even on Wednesday. I should hit my $300 tomorrow and stop. And then I should hit my $300 on Wednesday and stop. And I will basically be back to even. Uh, if I get on here tomorrow and you guys see, oh, hey, I had a big red day. Well, yeah, you will know why. If I follow my trade plan, uh, I should be just fine. But uh, I guess you will have to tune, tune in and see. And by the way, if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy this content, or view it like worthy, feel free to give it a good old like button as well. I would very much appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I ended up 1700 and 1715 down on the day. That sucks. That's not a good way to start the week, but it is what it is. Um, I have to trade, I have to trade a uh, one account till Wednesday and the other three accounts until Thursday and I get to request a payout again. That is good news. That's awesome. Uh, I just got to keep my head on straight and uh, make it through the week without another one of these days, really. Again, I appreciate y'all tuning in and I will catch up with you next time. Take care.